Hello and welcome to the Visero training series. In this lesson, we will be covering how to create a new site both from scratch and also by the duplication process. This will, video will also go over the different type of sites that Visero supports. We will begin with by logging into the Visero admin. There are three types of sites that Presero supports. The controls and capabilities of a site will vary based on the type of site you choose to create. The sites are as follows, a B2B storefront, a B2C storefront, or an informational website. We will look into each one by one. B2B storefront. A B2B, a customer site will require user to log in first and is intended for exclusive use of a large or regular customer, a print broker or wholesale trade customers. This site is marked with an icon of a business person. Again, your Presero plan determines how many of this type of site you can create. B2C Storefront in contrast, a B2C retail site is intended for use by the general public and a login is only needed during the checkout or payment process. This site is marked with an icon of a retail storefront with a window awning. Your Presero plan will determine how many of this type you can create. The last one is the informational website. Informational website is the one that does not have a shopping cart system, no e-commerce at all. This site is marked with an icon of an eye for information. Your Presero plans will determine how many of this site you can create depending upon the package you have. The illustration shows the control for each type of site. The informational site contains the basic website page, web page, user, and email control available for all three type of sites. Both B2C and B2B sites contain extra control related to selling products and services. B2B sites contain extra control related to a customer locations, purchase order, and supervisory order approvals. So depending upon the type of site, you will see some additional options or some lesser options depending upon the site you have creating. Creating a new site. To create a new site, go to the admin sites and click on create site. The very first option is the site name. This is the title of the site you are creating and will appear in several areas of the system, both in the admin area and to your customer when they are viewing the site. Please note, a site name has a limit of 50 characters. So I'm going to name it as The next option is the site URL. This is the primary domain name the site will run under. Enter the full name without the http dot backslash. Please note that your Presero plan may limit the number of unique domain names you can have within your subscription. When creating a B2B site, you will also most likely to want to create a subdomain of a primary domain of your choosing. A primary domain would be example like mywebsite.com and a subdomain of that would be firstsite.mywebsite.com. When getting started, Use the name.admin.v6.presero.com. So I'm going to just use it as since I'm on the Singapore server, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to make it as a B2B site. Please note, until you go live, you must use this base domain in your naming conventions or your site will not display. The third option is the site type. Refer to the list of site types above and choose the type of site you are creating.
after completing the items listed above, you will be directed to the next set of questions or brought to another area of the site setup so that you can continue. For retail, which is B2C, or for informational, leaving this area at this time will not cause any problem if you need to return later to finish the setup. However, if you choose B2B, you will get some additional options because you have to assign a location. Without a location to the site cannot be created successfully. So you will need to complete the following prompts for the new B2B site before the new site can be created. Location unique ID. Enter a location code such as headquarters for HQ or main or CHI, New York for NY, etc. So I'm just going to put it as NY. Location description. Account information to be used if the location has specific account information that must be referenced in orders. Then we have the address information. Complete the prompts in this area. Business name is the name of that particular location is important information to include it as this address. So for now I'm just going to demo and I'm only going to fill the required fields. And now we are okay to create the site. So I'll click on create site. If your details are verified and everything is set up correctly, a site will be created. So if you go to the domains tab, it will be the domain which you have assigned. Okay. However, in order to make the site uh, available for you, you need to at least select one of the shipping method and one of the payment method in order to start with the site. Once you are done, you can simply click on save. Now we will see how you can duplicate a site. In order to do so, go to the duplicate site option From here, you will choose the existing site you want to duplicate. Then you will provide the site name, a valid site URL that is not being used anywhere else. So and select the site type. Depending upon your requirements, you can duplicate all groups, users, pages, categories, products, pricing engine assignment, assets, navigation menu, profile fields, duplicate custom emails. Duplicate embedded services depend upon if this service is activated for you for the third party integration. So some of you might not see this option. Once you verify everything, you can click on duplicate site. We will also see how to delete a site. So in order to do so, go to the site, settings, and you will see a red button that says delete site. So you can click on delete site, okay. The site will no longer be found in the active sites and will be under deleted sites. This was all about creating, duplicating and deleting a site. Thank you for watching this video.